70% of our planet is covered by water. Nevertheless, the issue of lack of water is very acute in many countries. Earth is constantly changing. Volcanoes erupt, floods, tornadoes and landslides are occurring. All these natural phenomena and of course harmful anthropological activities of people lead to serious changes in the ecosystem of the planet, such as the drying up of seas and other bodies of water. Let's find out which seas and lakes may completely disappear shortly. The Dead Sea The Dead Sea is a very salty lake that is located at the lowest point on our planet. When you drive on the road to the sea, your ears start plugging up because it is so low. Unfortunately, the Dead Sea is gradually drying up and finding the necessary water supplies to keep up the sea level is very difficult. Each of us knows that it is impossible to drown in this sea. Its salt level is nine times higher than in the world's oceans, so it is forbidden to swim in it for a long time. The Dead Sea is saturated with minerals and quite dense, looking like oil that has been mixed with sand rather than a typical sea. The Dead Sea has a unique barometer for the state of the environment because the area experiences frequent water shortages. The amount of salt and density of the sea increases when the water level decreases. The Dead Sea can actually decrease in size when the amount of water entering the sea is about the same as the amount of evaporation. The Dead Sea is decreasing at a catastrophic rate. Each year its level is reduced by more than a meter. The coastline is covered with cracks and deep pits, which pose a serious danger to tourists and locals. By 2050, according to the experts' forecasts, the level of the Dead Sea may decrease by one-third. Aral Sea it used to be a large and rig salt lake that was located on the border of Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan. Since the 1960s, the sea level began to decrease significantly due to the use of water for irrigation and other needs of Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan and Turkmenistan. In 1989, the Aral Sea, which was the fourth largest inland body of water on Earth, split into two seas, the North Sea and the South Sea. In 2014, the South Sea dried up completely. All this led to a change in the climate. It became drier. The Aral Sea was replaced by the sand and salt desert of Aralcom. Because of the salt deposits at the bottom, which consist of toxic chemicals and fertilizers, it has become dangerous to stay there because breathing this air is constantly harmful to health. Strong winds pick up over 70 million tons of salt every year and transport them over great distances. Thus, pesticides have been found in Greenland, Norway, Belarus, and even in the blood of Antarctic penguins. The drying up of the Aral Sea has affected everything. The area of reed beds has shrunk. About 50 large lakes have disappeared. The diversity of wildlife has significantly decreased. The salinity of the remaining water bodies has increased. Ports have closed and the unemployment rate has increased. Caspian Sea Global warming contributes to an increase in the level of the world's oceans, but the seas and lakes are drying up. The Caspian Sea is decreasing rapidly. Scientists predict that the sea level may fall from 9 to 18 meters by the end of the 21st century. After that, almost the entire territory of the northern shelf of the Caspian Sea will evaporate, with a maximum drop in sea level to 18 meters over 30% of the Caspian Sea area will disappear. Such consequences of decreasing sea levels can be as dangerous as a global increase of the world's oceans. If nothing start doing about it, the environment will be severely damaged. Virtually 99% of Caspian seal offspring grow up on the ice in the north of the Caspian Sea. Unfortunately, according to the forecasts of scientists, if nothing is done about it, all the ice in the entire northern part of the Caspian Sea will disappear. Every year, the water level decreases by 6 to 7 centimeters. Not only the wildlife will suffer, but the local economy will also be threatened because it is directly linked to the maritime trade and fishing. Lake Chad This ancient relic lake is located in Africa on the border of Cameroon, Chad, Niger and Nigeria. In the 1960s of the 20th century, the area of Chad was 26,000 square meters. Chad is located practically in the most arid place on our planet. But the main reason for its drying up 
is the substantial increase in the amount of water needed for economic needs. Another reason is the clogging of the solid runoff of the rivers that flow into Chad and climate change in the region. Nikolai Gumilov also admired the beauty of this lake and even wrote poems about Lake Chad. Today this lake may disappear. The lake is characterized by fluctuating water levels. Sometimes the natural drying out occurred, but over time everything came back to normal. Today, it has changed because of human intervention. The number of the local population is increasing, the need for food is increasing, and the local people are increasingly using the water from the lake to irrigate their fields. If the lake dries up, it will be a true ecological disaster, because the lake is home to the African manatee, which is on the verge of extinction. Many birds and animals come to the lake all the time. There will be a humanitarian catastrophe for the local population if the lake disappears. Lake Urmia This is an Andariq salt lake located in Iran in the Armenian highlands. It used to cover an area of 140 kilometers from south to north and 85 kilometers from east to west. In 1984, the area of Lake Urmia was 6,000 square kilometers. Today, its area has decreased to 2,000 square kilometers. Scientists believe the main reason for the decrease of the lake is an irresponsible use of water for irrigation. Building a dam on the rivers that feed the lake and severe drought in the region. As recently as six years ago, according to the experts' estimates, this lake should have become a swamp, so its fate is now under great threat. The area of Urmia has decreased by over 70%. The Urmia is an Andariq lake, so the water level decreases due to evaporation. The 13 rivers that feed the lake have seriously dried up in recent years. The water level is also decreasing due to a small amount of rain, lowering of the groundwater, and rising temperatures in the area. Today, the lake's ecosystem is under threat. The decrease in water has turned the lake into a salt marsh. All this couldn't but affect the flora and fauna of the Lake Urmia Biosphere Reserve. The Great Salt Lake The lake is located in the United States in Utah. Salt Lake City, the capital of the 2002 Winter Olympics, was named after the lake. The lake used to occupy an area of 58,000 square kilometers over 30,000 years ago. Today, the lake has become a salt marsh and covers an area of only 6,000 square kilometers, where the water level depends on seasonality. Scientists, ecologists, and local authorities are trying to preserve the lake, but in 2016, experts gave disappointing forecasts that the water level is gradually decreasing. Lake Fagubin, the lake which is located in Mali, was one of the largest lakes in West Africa in the 20th century. The region was flourishing with fishing, cattle breeding, and agriculture. The lake had an area of 600 square kilometers. Long droughts and irrational use of water caused the lake to virtually dry up by 1990. Over the past decades, the lake has been slowly recovering and thanks to regular rainfall has recovered by 7%. Lake Salton Sea The Lake Salton Sea is located in California. Back at the beginning of the 20th century, its area was 888 square kilometers. It was a kind of oasis in the Sonoran Desert. It was home to over 400 species of birds, and the lake was designated a natural reserve. A period of decreased precipitation coincided with the development of coastal areas, and the runoff of fertilizers and chemicals from neighboring fields also affected the quality of water in the lake. All of this led to the fact that by early 2000s, the waters in the lake became a quarter saltier than the waters of the Pacific Ocean. All this couldn't but affect the number of the population of organisms living in the lake. For today, the lake salt and sea continues to evaporate, harming human health. Scientists believe that at this rate, the lake will decrease by 60% and in 15 years, the salinity in the lake will triple. To prevent an environmental disaster, California has already invested nearly $4 million to preserve the lake. Thus, about 100 million square meters of water have been pumped into the Salton Sea from the Colorado River. Each case of drying up of water bodies is different, but has common features. As you can see, it could not have been done without man-made activities. Although water bodies have coped with natural cataclysms and recovered, Human activities have irreversible consequences. Insects Many people get goosebumps all over their bodies just from this word alone. 
This is not surprising at all because there are so many dangerous insects around the world. In total, there are about 1 million species of insects on Earth. Do you suffer from arachnophobia? Believe me, spiders are not the worst thing you might encounter in nature. We present you with a list of the most dangerous insects on the planet. The top of the rating of the most dangerous insects opens, of course, the mosquito. Every year, more than 2 million people die because of this creature. Most often, mosquitoes are carriers of malaria. It affects the brain, liver, lungs, and cardiovascular system. But they can also infect people with West Nile fever, encephalitis, dengue virus, yellow, and tropical fevers. A mosquito becomes a carrier of malaria when it bites an infected person. Malaria spreads throughout the insect's body, and after four days, the mosquito is a carrier of this deadly disease and remains dangerous for another six weeks. Malaria is widespread in African countries, but they don't even try to fight it. Tsetse fly There are 23 species of flies by this name. They carry a terrible disease called African trypanosomiasis. Tsetse flies are the worst enemy of the inhabitants of tropical regions of Africa. Each year, up to 7,000 people die from sleeping sickness. During the disease, a person begins to have a fever, insomnia, headaches, and swelling of the lymph nodes, affecting the immune and nervous systems. If treatment is not started in time, it's almost always fatal. Tsetse flies, like mosquitoes, are also blood-sucking insects, but the bite mark is much more serious. The fly's tiny teeth bite into the skin and leave a noticeable mark. The insect reaches a length of 1.5 cm and is distinguished by its yellowish color. The tsetse fly lives mainly in Africa. According to statistics, about 200,000 people in Uganda have died from a tsetse fly bite. Bullet ant The largest ant, which reaches a length of 2.5 cm. It can meet this creature in the forests of Paraguay and Nicaragua at the base of large trees. The ant lives in large colonies in nests, and its bite is excruciating. The pain after the bite can last for 24 hours. Giant Peacock Caterpillar This caterpillar was nicknamed the Killer Caterpillar for a reason. After meeting it, several people die every year. It lives in South America. The caterpillar throws out the strongest poison located on the bristles, which leads to hemorrhage and causes gangrene. Fire Ant There are more than 280 species of this ant on Earth. These small insects are aggressive, especially during the defense of their antils. Such ants attack in groups of up to hundreds of insects. They bite frequently, causing burning pain. That's why they got such a name. Fire ants are native to South America, but today, this insect could be found all over the world. Centipede The centipede lives everywhere. Almost all people have the most pleasant feelings about its appearance. A centipede bite is quite painful, but a fatal case is possible only if you are allergic to its poison. This is perhaps the most harmless creature on our list. Kissing Bug like most of the most dangerous insects, the kissing bug also feeds on blood. It got its name because it bites people during sleep on the lips and eyes. He is attracted by the carbon dioxide released by breathing. This unpleasant creature is very dangerous because it's a carrier of the parasitic trypanosome, which causes Chagas disease. Because of this disease, about 12,000 people die every year. Symptoms may not appear immediately. After a few weeks, a person starts feeling weakness, pain throughout the body, and the tonsils swell. The kissing bug lives mainly in the United States, but can be found in Africa, Australia, and Asia. It has black and red colors. It's dangerous not only for people, but also for animals. There is no vaccine for Chagas disease yet, and doctors use antiparasitic drugs for treatment. Japanese Giant Hornet this hornet species is one of the largest. The largest individuals reach 4 to 5 centimeters in length. Each hornet can kill up to 40 bees in just one minute. Hornets live in large colonies, where their number can reach up to 700. They feed mainly on honeybee larvae and are very aggressive. 
the sting of the giant Japanese hornet can cause a severe allergic reaction. Up to 40 people die each year from its sting. Asian Giant Hornet This is the largest hornet that can be found in our planet. Its length reaches 5 cm and its wingspan is 7.5 cm. The hornet can sting many times with its 6 mm stinger. You can find the Asian Giant Hornet in Asia in the mountains of Japan. The pain of an Asian giant hornet is so intense that it's often compared to having a hot nail driven into your leg. But in addition to painful sensations during the hornet's sting, it also emits a specific smell that attracts other hornets. About 70 people die from the bite of an Asian giant hornet every year. African Honey Bee This famous bee killer is one of the most aggressive insects on the planet. These bees hunt in a group, can sting several times and chase their prey for more than a kilometer. Its stings are especially dangerous on the eyes and face. Bees live in a huge colonies of up to 80,000 individuals. In the 1950s, an attempt to increase honey production resulted in thousands of hybrids. In 1956, Brazilian biologist Warwick Kerr decided to add some traits of African bees to European bees. In his opinion, this hybrid would live well in the hot tropics and give more honey. This is how the Africanized bee appeared, which was very aggressive. Under very mysterious circumstances, about 20 colonies were released. The biologist hoped that the bees would quickly die, but they began to interbreed with drones and produce offspring. A new species of bees settled in South America and then in North America. Already in the 1980s, the hybrid could be found in Mexico and the United States. Now, these bees can be found in Texas, California, Arizona, Nevada, Florida, and other southern states. Over the 60 years of their existence, these hybrids have resulted in the death of more than 400 people and hundreds of animals, domestic and wild. Their attack can be fatal because they all together rush to defend their hive and their number can exceed 10,000 individuals. Therefore, everyone who is within a radius of 5 meters from the hive will be chased by bees. Oriental Rat Flea These fleas live where rats are. They live with them in the neighborhood and periodically switch to a rodent to refresh themselves. Females absorb more blood than males. The danger of these fleas is that they are active carriers of rat typhus and plague. The flea doesn't leave its prey and is on the rodent or in the neighborhood. Each species poses a serious danger to humans and animals. They can also infect their prey with helmets. Their saliva contains allergens that can cause reactions in both humans and animals. Typically, their bites are harmless and painless, but can cause itching and inflammation. Often, by scratching the wound, animals introduce themselves to a second infection. Widespread infection after multiple bites can cause fatal anemia, especially in small animals. The Black Plague epidemic, carried by rats, claimed millions of lives in Europe in the 14th century. Today, the disease is very rare in Europe, but it has progressed in poorer countries. Dorylus or Siafo These are nomadic blind ants that live in African countries. Today, there are more than 20 million of them. Although these ants are blind, thanks to pheromones, they know exactly where to go. They bite everyone they meet with their powerful hook-like jaws. Bites from these insects kill over 50 people every year. Bites can lead to serious complications and without medical attention, a person can die. A huge variety of different creatures live in our planet. Many of them are harmless, but some are quite dangerous. The danger of insects lies in their very tiny size, so people often don't even notice them. But when you're in the forest or in nature, you should always take care of your safety. Choose things that cover as much as possible all parts of your body and use special repellents that will protect you from insect bites. Well, which insect causes fear in you? Who among us hasn't dreamed of having a house by the sea? How we look forward to a vacation to go to the sea and enjoy the bright sun and foam waves. But many seas on our planet are not as welcoming and affectionate as they seem at first glance. Huge poisonous jellyfish, underwater predators, 
Unexplained phenomena, dangerous currents, are just a small part of the possible reasons why you don't want to swim in most seas. Sargasso Sea This sea covers an area of over 6 million square kilometers and is surrounded by the Atlantic Ocean. There is almost no wind at this sea because the sea is located in a zone of high atmospheric pressure. That is why a lot of ships disappeared here, which simply could not budge because of the complete calm. Also, huge algae plantations become a trap for ships, which impede the movements of the ship. Also, this sea has received ill fame because it is located in the mysterious zone of the Bermuda Triangle, in which many ships and planes have disappeared. Many seafarers to this day try to keep away from this place. Caribbean Sea Most people associate the Caribbean Sea with magical nature and turquoise water. It is just a paradise on Earth. There are many modern resorts, incredibly beautiful landscapes shrouded in mysteries and legends about pirates. You always need to be on the alert because there are over 600 species of marine flora in the Caribbean Sea. Here you can stumble upon poisonous physalia. These creatures look incredible. They shimmer with many colors and look like enormous bubbles. But don't try to touch these unusual creatures. You can immediately get a dose of toxins that are injected in your skin. Physalia venom is very similar to cobra venom. Timor Sea the Timor Sea covers an area of about 430,000 square kilometers. It washes the island of Timor, part of Australia and the coast of Indonesia. The sea area is located in the zone of tectonic plate splitting, which is why its depth doesn't exceed 250 meters. The only place with a great depth is the Timor Trough, a depth of 3,300 meters. This is the most suitable place for the emergence of powerful typhoons. The raging cyclone Tracy seriously damaged the city of Darwin in 1974, and in 2017, the cyclone Francis impressed everyone with its power. Gusts of wind reaches 120 km per hour. Such weather events seriously affect the work of oil refineries. When the hurricane approaches, all employees are urgently evacuated to the mainland. Erminger Sea it occupies an area of about 780,000 square kilometers. This sea is known for its powerful storms. In the northern parts of the sea, cold and warm currents intersect, which is why the windiest strip of salt water is here. The Erminger Sea is rightfully considered one of the most stormy places on our planet. Oceanologists study this place very carefully because of the power currents and the strongest hurricanes. Also, scientists are attracted by the complex topography of the seafloor, an unusual phenomenon called the waterfall at the bottom of the Denmark Strait, which is 4,000 meters high, especially attracted their attention. In terms of its power, this underwater waterfall exceeds Niagara Falls. Dead Sea The Dead Sea washes the shores of Israel, Palestine, and Jordan. It is located 430 meters below the world ocean level. The indicators of mineral salts here are almost nine times higher than in the Mediterranean Sea, 350 grams per liter of water. That is why there are no living creatures in the Dead Sea. This sea is ideal for recovery, but it's not that simple. You can get burns while staying for over 20 minutes in the water. Also, in no case you should not swallow water from the Dead Sea. You risk getting poisoning and problems with your urinary system and cardiovascular organs. Another serious problem is the sudden occurrence of sinkholes in the coastal zone, which are impossible to predict or guess. South China Sea The South China Sea is a huge reservoir with an area of over 3,500 square meters. It is located between Indonesia, the Philippines, Brunei, and Indochina. This sea poses a threat in the form of jellyfish, which are called sea wasps. These creatures are almost invisible in the water, but their tentacles are full of the strongest poison of neurotoxin. In winter, reverse currents perpendicular to the shore are raging in this sea. These currents are so strong 
that even an experienced swimmer can't handle them. There are often hurricanes which cause huge waves up to 4 meters high. In 2017, the typhoon Damri dealt a serious blow. The wind speed reached up to over 110 km per hour, especially affecting the roofs of buildings which were blown into small pieces. Black Sea The Black Sea is the youngest sea on Earth. Its age is 8,000 years. Every year, thousands of tourists from different parts of the world come to the Black Sea coast who have no idea how dangerous it is. Already starting from a depth of 200 meters, there is a layer of hydrogen sulfide, which is very toxic. That is why only some bacteria can exist at greater depths. All sea creatures live in the upper layers of the Black Sea, and almost 90% of the sea is lifeless. The Black Sea is quite calm, but has two powerful circular currents, which are called Knipovich spectacles. The Black Sea has an unusual structure. It has several different layers that never mix. It's in the upper layer, which is rich in oxygen, and is where almost all living creatures live. Its height is approximately 50 meters. Since the Black Sea is almost isolated from the world ocean, the level of hydrogen sulfide is very high here. When a violent storm begins, hydrogen sulfide vapors can rise to the surface. This is very dangerous because when in contact with the air, hydrogen sulfide can cause a powerful explosion. If such an explosion occurs, it will be equivalent to the fall of an asteroid weighing about half of the moon. The Black Sea region is distinguished by increased seismic activity. A powerful earthquake can trigger the release of huge amounts of toxic substances, which in turn will cause acid rains. Thousands of people will die in such a catastrophe, and the rest will have to move far away from the sea. At the famous resort Kobliwa, once there was a poisonous gas emission, at that time, more than 100 tons of fish died. Maximum hydrogen sulfide is at a depth of 200 meters. There, its level is almost 10 milligrams per liter of water. According to a rough estimate revealed by scientists, the amount of hydrogen sulfide in the Black Sea is more than 3 billion tons. This is much more than in any other sea on our planet. Other studies have shown that the Black Sea also contains a huge amount of methane. This gas comes to the surface quite rarely, but cases of poisoning of sea creatures have been recorded. In 1927, after the Crimean earthquake, the gas cloud burst to the surface. The witnesses of this phenomenon sensed the strong smell of hydrogen sulfide and saw a huge flame over the sea. During the earthquake, there was also a thunderstorm. That's what caused the fire. Where does the huge amount of hydrogen sulfide come from in the Black Sea? Some scientists claim that hydrogen sulfide is released from the Earth's crust faults at the bottom of the Black Sea. Other scientists believe that hydrogen sulfide in large quantities is formed because of rotting at the bottom of the organic remains. Since the water circulation here is quite bad, it accumulates there. Scientists believe the organic matter of the Dnieper, Danube and other tributaries of the Black Sea can also cause that damage. Another version of a high concentration of hydrogen sulfide is the presence of anaerobic sulfate-reducing bacteria. To date, experts who are studying this problem are very concerned because the cases of gas emissions to the surface have become more frequent. Such phenomena can be dangerous for the inhabitants of the Black Sea, as well as for the inhabitants of the entire Black Sea coast. An interesting solution to this problem was the use of hydrogen sulfide as a source of electricity but apparently they haven't figured out how to do this yet. Have fun wisely. Don't swim far, but better to swim along the coast. Any reservoir can be dangerous. Don't forget about it. Our planet consists of 70% water. Today about 95% of the water expanses remain poorly explored or unexplored at all. The bulk of all creatures living in the seas and oceans live no more than 50 meters deep. The world's oceans are home to many amazing creatures that feel great at great depths. They are not bothered by high pressure or pitch darkness or lack of food or just a cold environment. The features of deep sea creatures are determined by their habitat conditions. 
The most basic difference is their simplified organization, flat body, and long limbs. Here you can find echinoderms, mollusks, crustaceans, and planktonic organisms. Let's get acquainted with the most incredible deep-sea inhabitants. The deepest sea fish was discovered in 2014 at the bottom of the Mariana Trench and is called Pseudoliparis swiri or Mariana snailfish. This deep-sea creature is a predator and has been recorded at a depth of 8,200 meters. Its length is about 10 centimeters. Blobfish this deep-sea dweller is very different from ordinary fish and looks like an alien or a monster from sci-fi movies. The size of the blobfish is no more than 30 centimeters. It lives at the bottom of the ocean near Tasmania and Australia. This fish has a spur on the front that closely resembles a human nose with eyes on each side. This fish has practically no muscles and resembles a slug. Its lifestyle is very similar to that of the sloth. The blobfish swims slowly hoping that small prey will fall into its open mouth by themselves. Meanwhile, this creature doesn't have to worry about its safety. The blobfish is completely inedible. Nevertheless, it remains on the verge of extinction. The Shark from the Anime In 2018, American scientists discovered a new species of deep-sea shark named Squalus clarkae. This fish has vast and amazing eyes that resemble an alien or cartoon character. The shark is named after Eugenie Clark, a marine biologist who was the first woman to study sharks. This shark lives in the western Atlantic and the Gulf of Mexico. Its length is about 70 centimeters. All 20 species of squalus sharks need to be protected and studied. Japanese Spider Crab These creatures live off the coast of Japan. They can be found at depths of 50 to 300 meters. The Japanese spider crab can weigh up to 40 kilograms. The crabs look very fantastic and frightening because the span of their legs is about 3 meters and can reach up to 3.7 meters. Another impressive thing is that according to scientists, these amazing creatures can live up to 100 years. Pinnae Batfish This deep-sea dweller is very far from ordinary fish in its appearance. It doesn't look like them at all and can't even swim. Nevertheless, the pinnate batfish is a fish that moves on the bottom thanks to its fins, very similar to legs. This fish lives in the warm waters of the world's oceans at great depths. The largest specimens can reach up to half a meter in length. The pinnate batfish is a predator that lures small fish because of the bulb in its head, which has a special smell. Fish, crustaceans, and worms swim to this smell, and the pinnate batfish sits in ambush. When the prey is close, the batfish grabs it. Frilled, relict shark This shark lives at a depth of 1,500 meters and therefore is practically never encountered by people. Only in 2007, such a shark was found in shallow water and died after a couple of hours of transportation. The length of such an individual was 160 centimeters. Scientists have revealed similarities with extinct ancestors of the time of the dinosaurs. Wolffish This fantastic fish belongs to the family Anarchishatidae. The wolffish lives a depth of up to 500 meters in rocky terrain. A special feature of this creature is that it can stretch up to 1.5 meters in length. These predators have strong teeth that help them crush clams, sea urchins, and crabs. The wolffish has many names such as devilfish, sea wolf, wolf eel, ocean catfish, and sea cat. Giant isopod This crustacean creature can be found at the bottom of the Indian, Pacific, and Atlantic oceans at depths from 170 to 2,000 meters. This giant isopod feeds on carrion such as dead fish, whales, and squid. Roundworms, sea cucumbers, and sponges can be food for isopods, but they can also attack predators larger than themselves. Giant isopods are the largest crustaceans. Their size is explained by low temperatures when the body cells increase in size and their lifespan increases. These creatures grow their entire lives, reaching a length of up to 36 centimeters. The largest isopod that was caught weighed 1.7 kilograms and reached 76 centimeters in length. Micropena microstoma It is a deep-sea fish with a unique anatomical and rather fragile structure. 
The fish has a soft, transparent head and a barrel-shaped eyes and sensory organs that can extend and rotate. Pacific Hagfish This creature lives in the Pacific Ocean at depths of up to 1 km. In case of danger, the hagfish is capable of secreting huge amounts of mucus. The hagfish are scavengers. They can often be seen on the body of a dead creature. It is thanks to them the sea bottom has not turned into a garbage dump. These sanitarians clean the bottom from the corpses of dead animals. Ocean Sunfish This fish is the heaviest and is listed in the Guinness Book of Records with a weight of 2,235 kilograms, length of 3.1 meters and height of 4.26 meters. This fish lives at depths of up to 850 meters and is not dangerous to humans despite its huge size. Bathysaurus ferox. This creature lives at depths of 600 to 3,500 meters and is classified as a deep sea lizard fish. It is one of the most dangerous deep sea predators that devours everything in its path. The Bathysaurus ferox reaches 50 to 65 centimeters in length. Even the tongue of this creature has sharp fangs. The king of herrings or the giant oarfish. This fish can be found in the Pacific, Indian, and Atlantic Oceans. The largest individual was listed in the Guinness Book of World Records. Its length was 11 meters and its weight was 272 kilograms. It is an almost inedible fish. Even animals often refuse to eat its meat. The Viperfish It's one of the most fearsome and ruthless deep-sea predators. It lives at a depth of 2,800 meters. Its teeth resemble fangs that don't even fit in its mouth. This predator swims up to its prey at a great speed and stabs at it. The viperfish can swallow fish larger than themselves thanks to its expanding stomach. It has a luminous bait on the end of its spine, which makes it easy to catch its prey. The Giant Siphonophore this creature consists of a large colony of organisms called zooids. If you lift the siphonophore to the surface, its body will disintegrate because its skeleton is only held together by enormous pressure. That's why it is impossible to identify this creature, because the caught siphonophore looks like drops of gelatin. They reach up to half a meter in length. Eurypharynx pelasinoids this fish lives at depth of up to 3,000 meters and is also called the pelican eel. Its main feature is its huge mouth, which exceeds the body size of the fish. This helps the pelican eel swallow prey larger than itself. It reaches a length of about 70 centimeters. Goblin Shark This shark can be seen at depths of up to 200 meters. Because of its specific appearance, this shark is called a goblin shark. The largest individual weighed over 200 kilograms and its body length was 3.8 meters. This shark is practically unstudied by scientists as only 40 of its individuals are known to science so far. Deep Sea Anglerfish This creature looks just like a monster from a sci-fi movie. Science knows over 200 species of sea devils that live at the bottom of the Antarctic and Atlantic Oceans. The deep-sea anglerfish lures its prey with its glowing backbone. Thanks to its large mouth, it can swallow prey twice its size. The females of the deep-sea anglerfish are larger, while the males lose their ability to digest food as they grow. Therefore, it gnaws into the female's body and becomes a sperm's preying parasite attached to the female. Banded Piglet Squid this creature lives at a depth of 100 meters and looks quite cute. They have an almost transparent body and luminous organs called photophores, which are located under their eyes. Melanocetus johnsoni This creature lives at a depth of up to 4,500 meters in all oceans. The female of this fish is much larger than the male and grows up to 18 centimeters, while the male is only 3 centimeters. The Melanocetus has a luminous lure that resembles a fishing rod and helps it to hunt. The Tongue-Eating Louse A very frightening and unusual creature is a parasitic isopod. The isopod 
clings to the tongue of its victim, the load chain is Johnny, and sucks all the blood from its tongue. When the tongue atrophies, the isopod becomes a new tongue and feeds on the food remains of the Luchena's Johnny. This process practically doesn't cause any discomfort to the Luchena's Johnny and it continues to exist normally. Lionfish It was first spotted on the shores of Florida in the 1990s of the 20th century. These fish are a danger to other species because they eat everything around them. Lionfish have long spines that protect them from predators, although predators for them are the same lionfish which are considered cannibals. They pose a serious danger to humans because their venom can be fatal for people with heart disease or with allergic reactions. Enoplogaster cornuta This monster lives at a depth of up to 5 kilometers and the fry swim close to the surface of the water. The adults are so different from the fry that scientists used to even consider them different species. The predatory Anoplogaster cornuta grows up to 18 centimeters in length. Giant Squid These creatures live at a depth of more than 2,000 meters and reach a length of up to 10 meters. The maximum weight known to science was 495 kilograms. The average size of such squid is 8 meters. They use their long tentacles to catch their prey. Kiwa hirsuta This crustacean creature lives at a depth of over 2 kilometers. It can be found in the Pacific Ocean. It seems that the crustacean is covered with fur because all the limbs and chests of this creature are covered with bristles. Only one specimen has been caught at a depth of 2,200 meters. Idiacanthus these fish live at a depth of up to 4 kilometers. The length of females is many times greater, reaching up to 40 centimeters, while the males reach a length of up to 7 centimeters. The female Idiacanthus are predators. They can easily cope with larger prey because their mouth and stomach can stretch. The lower jaw can extend forward and drop downward. Males of this species don't eat at all. They exist only for reproduction. Chowliotis. These creatures live at depths of up to 4,000 meters. They have an outgrowth with a photophore to lure their prey. They are quite similar to Idiacanthus. Their mouth and stomach can stretch, allowing them to not eat every day. Black Swallower. It inhabits subtropical and tropical waters of the oceans. This creature is capable of swallowing its prey whole and much larger than itself thanks to its stretching stomach. It reaches a length of about 15 centimeters. The Giant Amoeba It is a single-celled organism and lives at a depth of over 10 kilometers. This creature reaches up to 10 centimeters in length and contains poisonous substances such as uranium, mercury, and lead. Giant amoebas filter and recycle sludge so that other organisms can exist at the bottom. Bluntnose Sixgill Shark This fish is often called the cow shark because of its large build. It reaches up to 5 meters in length. It descends to depths of up to 2,500 meters and rises to the surface at night in search of prey. It can feed on crabs, rays, seals, and other sharks. Tardigrades These invertebrate creatures are very hardy. They easily adapt to any conditions such as the bottom of the ocean, ice, or hot springs. Tardigrades survive even after exposure to radiation, ultraviolet light, and even in outer space. All of this is possible because tardigrades can go into anabiosis and remove water from their bodies. Their size decreases and their body covers itself with a waxy coating. Vampire Squid This deep-sea dweller feels quite comfortable at a depth of over 3 kilometers. This squid has retained a resemblance to its ancestors, who lived over 300 million years ago. Giant Tube Worms These invertebrate creatures live at the bottom of the ocean with high hydrogen sulfide levels. They like low temperatures and complete darkness. Tiburonia granrojo. This creature belongs to the family Olmeridae. 
These creatures are characterized by their large size, as large as one meter in length. The jellyfish use its pale red tentacles to catch prey. Stargazer These terrifying-looking creatures are also very dangerous. They have two poisonous spines, with which they strike their prey suddenly emerging from the sand. These fish are electric, so an encounter with them can end very badly. Pelican Eel or Gulper Eel This deep-sea creature is rarely seen by humans. The pelican eel looks quite strange and is capable of swallowing prey much larger than itself. The Giant Shark or Megamata Shark It is extremely rare to see this shark. It was discovered in 1976. The main feature of this fish is a huge mouth, allowing it to easily swallow small fish and plankton. Chimera These fish are also called ghost sharks. They can be found at a depth of 2,500 meters. Now science knows 50 species of chimeras. They have poisonous spines for protection. Chimeras eat mostly echinoderms and clams, other fish, or even their own relatives. As you can see, the deep sea world is very diverse, sometimes even frightening and fantastic. A huge number of creatures, from harmless to the most dangerous, that live at great depths. This underwater world remains poorly explored due to the impossibility of man to go so easily to the great depths. Let's hope that modern technology and the latest developments of scientists will soon make it possible to better explore this amazing deep sea world. Friends, we welcome you to the Other Mind channel. Today, let's talk about river monsters. Do you often think about what monsters may live in rivers and whether it's dangerous to swim in them? In this regard, our rivers are much safer than, for example, in Africa, Australia, or America. We've prepared for you 20 of the scariest river dwellers on the planet. Let's go! Flathead Catfish Meet one of the most dangerous river dwellers in North America. The flathead catfish can be up to one and a half meters long and weigh over 100 kilograms. The catfish's diet consists of waterfowl, other fish, and mammals. But there are also cases of attacks on people. For example, up to 10 fishermen per year are killed in North American rivers. Attacking its prey, the flathead catfish tears it to pieces with its powerful jaws. Vandalia serosa or kangaroo. This small fish at first glance does not raise any concerns, but it's only so it appears. You will be shocked to learn that it feeds on blood and urine, penetrating the anus and genital urinary organs. Then the Vandalia serosa begins to devour the flesh. You can't remove this parasite on your own, you'll need surgery. One good thing is that this fish lives far away from us in the Amazon River in Colombia, Brazil, Peru, and Ecuador. Piranha the piranha is a relatively small predator, growing up to 30 centimeters in length, but terrifying to people. Piranhas live in Brazil and South America. Having a large number of teeth and being always in search of prey, piranhas pose a tremendous danger to anyone who meets them on the way. Piranhas hunt in large packs. They swallow small fish and start tearing off pieces of meat from larger ones. In a matter of minutes, a pack of piranhas can leave only the bones of their prey. Electric Eel Lacking a powerful jaw and huge teeth, this fish poses an enormous danger to people. It does not need teeth to do this. It will, at lightning speed, generate a powerful discharge of electricity which can cause a person to lose consciousness. Do not approach the eel closer than 3 meters, because this is the range of its current. In addition, the electric eel is quite aggressive and often attacks for no reason. You can meet this fish up to 3 meters long and weighing up to 40 kilograms in the Amazon River and other rivers in the northeast of South America. Begarius urali or Gunj catfish. This catfish can be found in the Kali River area between India and Nepal, as well as in the Brahmaputra, Indus, and Ganges river basins. Since ancient times, the bodies of the dead have been dumped into this river. Often bodies do not burn completely, and catfish feed on human remains. These huge predators weigh up to 140 kilograms and often attack people in search of food. Tambaki 
It's an amazing fish with teeth that are very similar to human teeth but much sharper. That's why the tambaki easily gnaws fruits and nuts that fall into the river from the trees. It lives in the Amazon River and also eats invertebrates and fish. In the 90s, Tambaki attacked two fishermen who died from blood loss. It grows to an average of about 70 to 100 centimeters and weighs about 40 kilograms. The Tambaki looks a bit like piranhas, only larger in size. Hydrocinus goliath, or giant tiger fish. This dangerous aquatic dweller can be found in Africa in the Congo River. But it's better not to meet with it, because this fish is quite a dangerous predator and it's like a real tiger while attacking other fish and even people. I don't want anyone to face a 50 kilogram monster that grows up to 180 centimeters in length. To easily cope with prey, the giant tiger fish has 32 sharp teeth. You can learn more about the giant tiger fish in our separate video. A link is in the description. Black Cayman This giant monster with lightning-fast reaction and great strength grows up to 6 meters long. It's better not to get in its way, the caiman would tear anyone to shreds. The black caiman is one of the largest crocodiles and is the largest predator in the Amazon River. The black caiman is an omnivore. Its diet is dominated by fish, vegetation, crustaceans and insects. Adults hunt for the larger prey. The caiman hunts mammals, snakes, waterfowl and fish. Black caimans have repeatedly attacked people. Giant Freshwater Stingray or Short-Tailed River Stingray They live in the rivers of Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia, Australia and New Guinea. These giants weigh about 500 kg and are up to 2 meters in diameter. This stingray is quite dangerous because it has two sharp spikes on the tail. The large spike helps to hold the victim down. Such a spike looks like a harpoon and it's difficult to pull out because of the large number of serrations on it. The stingray can easily pierce the bottom of a boat with a spike which grows to almost 40 centimeters. A stingray will never attack a person first. For that, you either have to accidentally disturb it or try to catch it. The second spike is smaller, but its purpose is to inject venom that can kill a person. Freshwater stingrays are viviparous, with a female giving birth to a single calf up to 35 centimeters in length. The number of giant freshwater stingrays is decreasing, so it's forbidden to hunt them. After the photo shoot and measurements, the stingrays are returned to the river. Anaconda for people who are afraid of snakes, the anaconda will be a real challenge. This monster reaches a length of up to 5 to 6 meters and weighs about 50 to 70 kilograms. If the anaconda begins to coil itself around its victim, it can no longer escape. It lives in the Amazon River and likes to rest in shallow water. Anaconda is the largest snake on the planet and is not poisonous. Giant Otter Inhabiting the Amazon rivers, otters are quite large, up to 2 meters in length. An individual otter on its own is not so dangerous, but when they gather in packs, these animals can kill even large caimans and anacondas. Arapaima It's a giant monster with teeth even on its tongue. Even piranhas are no threat to them because they have armored scales. Arapaima grows up to 3 meters and weighs about 90 kilograms. It feeds on fish and waterfowl. There have been recorded cases of this giant attacking humans as well. Bull sharks these sharks usually live in the ocean, but they're also excellent in rivers. It's not uncommon for them to swim very far down the Amazon, where they look for their prey. They grow up to 3 meters and the strength of their bite reaches 600 kilograms. It's better never to encounter this predator, because afterward the chances of survival are close to zero. Hydraulicus scamboroidus it's a true vampire among river dwellers. This fish has huge fangs up to 15 centimeters, which do not give the victim a chance. It lives in the Amazon, grows up to 117 centimeters, and weighs about 18 kilograms. It feeds on piranhas and other fish. This fish is very often the object of sport fishing due to its powerful resistance when trying to pull it out of the river. The locals also go fishing for the Hydraulicus scomboroidus, considering its meat very delicious. Prodopterus 
They live in the water bodies of Africa and belong to the lungfish species. When a body of water dries up, the Protopterus burrows into the ground and hibernates. It usually happens every year, and such hibernation lasts several months. But the main feature of Protopterus is that they can stay in such a state for up to four years. The largest of the Protopterus species is the marbled longfish. It reaches up to 2 meters in length and weighs about 17 kilograms. They are nocturnal, can move with the help of fins on the bottom, and can swim in the water like eels. They feed on crabs, crayfish, mollusks, and fish. The local population often catches Protopterus and eat them. Nile perch This perch is striking in its size. The largest specimens grow up to 2 meters in length and weigh up to 200 kilograms. The ancient Egyptians called this fish the Princess of the Nile. They can live in any freshwater body of water, preferring warm waters. The Nile perch is a true predator. It's not uncommon for this monster to choose its prey among its own species. It's the largest predatory fish of Lake Victoria. This giant has been artificially introduced into other bodies of water, which has had a negative impact. The perch is a real glutton, so the number of local fish species has significantly decreased. A very unusual fact is that the Nile perch hatches its young in its mouth, protecting its next generation. Nile Crocodile This crocodile inhabits the territory of the African continent. It's considered one of the deadliest creatures on the planet. Males can grow up to 5 meters, even one such monster is very dangerous. When they hunt in a pack, the victim has no chance of survival. They can attack even rhinos and hippos. Quite often, people become victims of this crocodile. Every year, from several hundred to a couple of thousand people die from its teeth. Northern Snakehead These fish are quite rare in the West, but there was a case when a fisherman found the northern snakehead in a pond in the United States. Many scientists believe that snakeheads can take root in North America, thereby seriously damaging the local ecosystem. These predatory fish grow up to a meter in length and are very voracious. Their diet consists of frogs, fish, and invertebrates. Northern snakeheads can live outside of the water for up to four days. Sawfish The small-toothed sawfish lives in freshwater. Sometimes it even swims into lakes. It chooses muddy and shallow water, spending most of its time on the bottom. It is similar to saw rays, not sharks, as it might seem at first glance. They are distinguished by the long, flat rostrum, laterally dotted with tooth-like outgrowths. It doesn't attack people on purpose, but due to poor eyesight, this fish can accidentally inflict quite dangerous saw blows. Today, these fish are protected because of the decline in their numbers. Leech this little parasite feeds on blood and is usually not very dangerous. On average, a leech feeds for half an hour and then detaches itself. However, bleeding after such a sting can last for several days, especially if you have several leeches hooked on you. A leech can transmit infections and parasites to humans because it has no immune system. In Africa, even the hepatitis B virus and HIV have been found in wild leeches. Some of the leeches can enter the nose, eyes, ears, bladder, and even the stomach. That was our top 20 scariest river dwellers. Share in the comments which animal surprised you the most. Give us a like if the video was useful and subscribe to the channel. We still have a lot of interesting things. See you next time! This amazing creature resembles a prehistoric bird. It can be safely called the strangest bird in the world, which is extremely poorly studied. It is one of the largest birds, which is a close relative of storks, pelicans, and marabou. It's a bird whose population is disappearing at a breakneck pace. Yeah, that's right, it's a shoe-billed stork. The shoe-billed stork, Balinaceps rex, is a large, broad-winged bird that lives in the swamps and wetlands of Central and East Africa. This giant bird has a large body, huge wings, and a beak similar to a shoe. It is believed that this prehistoric bird is associated with non-extinct dinosaurs. These birds have dark gray, blue-gray, or gray plumage with a white belly. Their piercing eyes are yellow or white gray. 
they have huge wings which can reach a wingspan of 2.4 meters. The bird loves papaya swamps and is usually found in spill areas where water slowly flows to the lake. The area is home to many fish, which are the main source of food for storks. The shoe-billed storks lead a daytime lifestyle, although they sometimes hunt at night if the moonlight is bright enough. In addition to fish, they also hunt water snakes, frogs, varanas, and young turtles. They have even been known to eat baby crocodiles. The shoebill reaches sexual maturity at the age of three to four years. They are monogamous birds sharing parental responsibilities. The female lays two or three eggs that incubate for 30 days. Both parents will turn the eggs over frequently with their feet. The chicks of this bird are covered with thick and silvery gray down and already have a wide mouth. However, the large beak, for which these birds are known, does not begin to show until they are a month old. When they are born, the parents take turns feeding their chicks mashed food. At one month of age, the parents begin to leave prey in the nest. National and the International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN, classify the birds as vulnerable to extinction. They survive in only a few countries such as South Sudan, which has the largest population of a continent with about 5,000 birds, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Rwanda, Tanzania, Uganda, and Zambia. Besides the threat posed by poachers, fires and human encroachment also endanger the species. Shoe-billed storks are shy birds that require large areas of undisturbed habitat to breed. When humans get too close, frightened birds abandon their nests leaving eggs and chicks vulnerable to water lizards, snakes, and eagles. All of these threats have damaged the wild population of this species. The 2016 IUCN population estimate showed that 3,300 to 5,300 adults remain in the wild compared to 5,000 to 8,000 adults in 2008. Fishing comes to their rescue. During the breeding season, from September to December, a close-knit team of 12 fishermen watch over their nests, protecting their eggs and chicks. Besides being fishermen, they also work as guards for African Parks, a non-profit conservation organization. In 2012, the partners established the Shoebill Guard program. Their vigilance is paying off. Since 2012, when the program began, 25 chicks have successfully fledged from 21 protected nests. Six chicks stolen from nests have also been rescued from captivity and returned to the wild. The success prompted African Parks to expand the program in 2012. Nine men were hired as guards. The locals do not only protect shoebills, they are an important part of the conservation work carried out in Bangweyulu. Six chiefdoms, numbering about 50,000 people, own land here in joint holdings. In 2008, after decades of poaching and over-agriculture that had destroyed much of the wildlife and depleted the land, it was the chiefs, along with the Zambian government, who offered the African parks to take over the management of Bangweulu. Friends, welcome to the Other Mind channel. Most of us live in towns and villages and habitual apartments or houses. But some daredevils ruin the idea of normal housing. Some of them live on the water, others on cliffs, and some settle in the rocks and underground. Here are the top 15 strangest places for people to live. Let's go! Koh Pani Village, Thailand the floating island is a very unusual place to live. For about 200 years, this island has been inhabited by fishermen with their families, who formerly lived in Indonesia. At one time, foreigners were not allowed to own land in Thailand, which is why the Indonesians decided to settle right on the water, because of finding a great fishing spot near Phuket. Today the fishing village is already home to more than 1500 people. Children go to school there, there is a market and a mosque, the villagers even built a soccer field for the children to play on. After that, the local team has become one of the best in all of Thailand. The village even has a police force, but there is only one police officer. 
For two long centuries, fishing was the main occupation here. But after the crisis in the 90s, the village became a tourist destination where restaurants and souvenir shops opened. Nevertheless, many villagers are still engaged exclusively in fishing to honor the traditions of their ancestors. Manshiyat Nasser, Egypt just imagine, this city is completely covered with garbage. More than 60,000 people live here and live among mountains of waste. The inhabitants of the town are also called garbage collectors because they collect waste from all of Cairo, which has more than 20 million inhabitants. Garbage collectors sort waste for their disposal and recycling. Casa do Penedo, Portugal In the mountains of Faf is an unusual structure. Casa do Penedo, which translates as House of the Rock. In the 1970s, engineer Victor Rodriguez decided to build something in the Flintstone style. He wanted to seamlessly blend the dwelling into the surrounding landscape so that everything looked as natural as possible. The house was built of several stones of enormous size. It was as if sandwiched between them. Due to its isolated location, uninvited guests often tried to get into the unusual house. Some even succeeded. Due to the robberies, the homeowner installed a metal front door and even bulletproof windows. Today, the place is visited by many tourists who want to look at the marvelous creation. Al Hajara, Yemen an unusual walled city impresses you by beauty in the Sinai province at the top of the Haraz Mountains. Even the locals don't know exactly when people settled here. According to scientists, it happened around the 12th century. The ancient customs and culture are still preserved here. The inhabitants of the city grow fruit, wheat and other crops. They also produce cotton and breed horses and camels. The houses here with their many floors look a lot like skyscrapers. The lower floors have no windows and the color of the buildings allows them to blend in with the rocks. These structures play the role of fortifications during the Turkish occupation. An amazing place that is definitely worth a visit, but to go on a tour here is better with a guide, otherwise you can get lost. Also, it's not a good idea to stay until nighttime, when the temperature drops sharply to zero degrees Celsius. Xuankanzi China. The unique hanging monastery of Xuanganzi is located on the cliff of Mount Heng in Shangzi province. Everything about this structure is striking for its age, it was built in the 5th century, location and architecture. The monastery literally floats in the air, it's at the height of 40 to 50 meters from the ground. Although the monastery is not easy to get to at all, it does not stop tourists. To make it easier to reach the temple, they have built steps that lead to the entrance. It's especially striking that three different religions coexist here. Taoism, Buddhism and Confucianism. In the halls of the monastery, different religions are represented, with which you can get acquainted closer. The temple is open to tourists all year round. The monastery has its own rules for visitors, who should behave calmly and quietly and move in a circle to avoid crowds of people. It's astonishing how tens of centuries ago they were able to build such an extraordinary structure and how it has survived in perfect condition to this day. Metmata, Tunisia The most astonishing and strange attraction in Tunisia is probably Metmata. Its peculiarity consists of underground dwellings, unnoticeable at first sight, which looks like hills on the ground. The locals essentially live in caves that are connected by tunnels and have separate excavated rooms. Since Metmata was featured in the Star Wars film, it has gained enormous popularity among tourists who want a glimpse of this wondrous city underground. The place where the film was shot was turned into a hotel. There are five houses underground, one of which was turned into a restaurant. If you want to stay here, book the place in advance because there are only 20 rooms. Monasteries of Meteora, Greece a popular destination among tourists in Greece is the six preserved monasteries of Meteora, built on the mountain as if they were hanging above the ground. Four monasteries are male and two female. 
In total, more than 20 of them were built. The first monastery appeared in 1340. At the end of the 80s of the last century, monasteries were included in the list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. These constructions are of enormous value as a natural phenomenon and an object of world cultural significance. The most famous one is the Holy Monastery of Ruzanu, built by two brothers in honor of Saint Barbara. The Principality of Sealand the unusual principality of an offshore platform is located in the North Sea near Great Britain. It was founded in the late 1960s by the military man Roy Bates, thus protesting the persecution and closure of pirate radio stations. Sealand is a platform 20 meters above the water, the size of two tennis courts, which previously served as a fortification. Roy has set up a pirate radio station in his principality with 24-hour music. The smallest principality has its own coat of arms, a black and red flag with a wide diagonal, and even its own passports. Today, Sealand even has an Instagram page, a Facebook page, and a YouTube channel. Throughout its existence, just over 50 people, the founder's family, their friends and relatives, and support staff have lived in Sealand. Home on an island on St. Lawrence River on the border of Canada and the United States, there is a tiny island on which stands a house. The Sizeland family bought Hob Island in the middle of the last century to escape the hustle and bustle of the city. They later renamed it to Just Room Enough Island, which translates to barely fit. The place turned out to be so astonishing that crowds of tourists came to see the unusual house on the island. The area of the island is just over 300 square meters. You step out of the house and there is water all around. Verkhoyansk, Russia At a distance of almost 5,000 kilometers from Moscow, there is the coldest town on the planet, Verkhoyansk. The city, located in the Siberian taiga, is also called the Pole of Cold. The locals clearly suffer from the lack of sun rays and vitamin D, because in winter there's no sun at all. Moreover, from September to March, the sun comes out only for five hours. It was here that traitors and citizens unwanted by the Soviet regime were formerly exiled. A town in Yakutia with a population of about a thousand people is now beginning a bit of a revival. Despite the severe frost, which sometimes drops below 60 degrees Celsius, tourists and extreme enthusiasts come to Verkoyansk dreaming of staying in one of the town's icy hotels. Cappadocia, Turkey Cappadocia is one of the oldest places of permanent residence of people. Today more than two and a half thousand locals live here, mostly in monasteries and temples. This unique area was formed in the first millennium BC, and today it's listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The unusual landscape in the form of pillars, bizarre canyons and pyramids were formed by natural processes, when for millions of years rains and winds destroyed the fragile mountainous rock. In the mountains of Cappadocia, cave monasteries and whole underground cities are hidden. Here is the Gorham Historical National Park, which is a museum under the sky. Nearby are hotels and restaurants that host visitors. Cappadocia is visited by thousands of tourists every day. Especially impressive is the opportunity to rise above the ground in a hot air balloon and see all the beauty of this place from a flying altitude. Indeed, there is a lot to see in Cappadocia. In addition to the National Park, you can visit the Uchisar Castle, Avenos Town, the underground cities, the Ferry Chimneys, and the Red and Rose Valley. Setenil de las Bodegas, Spain It's an amazing town with a magical landscape where huge rocks overhang the houses and streets as if protecting their inhabitants from the hot sun and strong winds. The houses here are hidden in the mountains, making that look simply unreal. The town of Setenil de las Bodegas has been hiding in the rocks for thousands of years. Archaeologists find the remains of people who lived in caves, which are more than 25,000 years old. The city is fascinating with its beauty. Although it has already been rebuilt many times, it still retains its charm and style. It's the most amazing white town in the south of Spain. Many tourists come here to admire the local beauty and enjoy the delicious food and wine. Greenland the largest island on the planet is home to just over 55,000 locals. It has the highest suicide rate, with 83 suicides per 100,000 people. 
This sparsely populated island people share with the eternal cold and polar bears. In Greenland you can see the most beautiful polar lights. Most of the island has 3 months of summer and 24 hours sunshine, followed by 3 months of solid night. Most of the island is covered by glaciers. The coldest part of the island is in the center, with winter temperatures often dropping to minus 60 degrees Celsius. The locals are Greenlandic Inuit, who make up more than 90% of the population. A national dish that tourists should try is boiled seal meat. Cherrapunji, India Cherrapunji is considered to be the wettest place on Earth with record rainfall. The soil here is very poor, it's constantly washed out by downpours. About 10,000 people living in this village are severely affected by the lack of drinking water. It rains almost every day in this village, so agriculture is not developed at all. The people of Cherrapunji work in industrial plants and engage in trade. The local people are called Kazi. They build living bridges out of trees, guiding their routes across the river to the other side. It takes about 10 to 20 years to build one bridge, but such constructions serve reliably for many years. These were the top 15 strangest places to live. Please give us a like, subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss anything. Share in the comments which place in our list impressed you the most. Where would you like to visit?